Hello, Casual Kane here. Welcome back to Green Hell Spirit Soil and Zonia. We are back at the boat, and the reason being is we need to repair this antenna. <laughs> so I did run all the way to the drug facility to look for this antenna, and it turns out in one of the previous episodes I actually picked it up. And it's apparently somewhere here. I don't see it. I don't see it, but yeah, apparently I have it. Let's go ahead and repair the antenna. Also, the fish that you need to capture is the one that's under that lily pad right now. So that's the one you got to look for if you guys are doing the molds. They sort of look like an eel fish. Um, and you can find them in any unsafe water, I think it is. No, that's dirty water. Um, and... Oh, there's painkillers. Yeah, I think I found the cans in the water down there. I'm not sure if I personally did that or if um, the game did that. But yeah, there's there's like cans and stuff in this boat that you can get in order to get the metal. Anyway, let's go ahead and use the radio and see what happens. This is Jake Higgins. Do you copy? This is Jake Higgins. Do you copy? Higgins, what took you so long? Where is Pedro? He was supposed to report on arrival. Pedro, we were attacked, and he was shot with an arrow. Will he make it? He... He's dead. I see. Well, what about you? Can you continue? I think so. Yes. I mean, I have to. Okay, Roger. I'll prepare a plan to get you out. It may take a while. So let me know when you find the mushrooms. Copy. Can you tell me if Mia's feeling all right? Higgins, you know what state she's in and why you're out there. Focus. Over and out. Okay. Let's focus on the Yabawaka. The Yabawaka! Oh, yeah. All right, so... That's what I had to come all the way back here for, was that little cutscene, but I think I needed it in order to update this. Um, so we need to find the Yabawaka mushroom, uh, and we've got to work on the village. So we're all up to date now. That's basically what I wanted to do. Uh, so yeah, I currently have a little tiny base set up at the drug facility. It's mostly just a fire pit, uh, a sleeping bag and a water drip thing, but I am going to go to the dock because I have a mud, um, pit out there. So yeah. I will be back in a little bit once I reach the dock, and I'll give you guys an update from there. All right, so I'm back at the dock, uh, which is just over there, and I have actually ran around the map and completed all of the legendary stones. So I now have access to Blood Tears, the Gift of the Jungle, and the Dance of Death. Um, I did have to look these up to see what was involved, and one of them is directly in front of me. Uh, but it's surrounded by piranhas, so <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Um, the other one takes a few days to complete, so we have to go drop off a bunch of meat and then come back in three days' time each time. I think we've got to do that three times in a row. Uh, and the other one, i got to wait until the wet season. Now, I don't know... Was I, hang on, before I jump in the water and mess this up, was I meant to chat? Ritual drum, search of the place of the family tragedy, and Lord the Mighty. Akra? Uh, Akra. Uh, right. Radio. So, I think it's in here, but like I said, I don't know whereabouts. So, I'm probably going to die, but it'll be funny. <gasps> Um, yeah, let's go. So apparently there is, like, an abandoned boat. Yeah, that thing. Sorry, we got the bracelet. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. Phew. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, it's surrounded by piranha. But the beauty thing is I've set up my base, so I'll quickly go show you my base. It's nothing too special. Um, yeah, I've just got my mud mixer down there, 
uh, which I only use for a mud wall at the moment. Uh, there is a free armadillo in here. But yeah, I have my little hut thing with the walls there, my bed. Um, I have my fire pit under the house, and I just got like these little house things. Uh, I do have a spare big axe, but what I also have is... I have a rusty axe. And... I have an obsidian axe. So... Yeah, not sure which one's better. Um, the rusty axe I think I found in a cave near one of the... Um... Legend stones. The one thing I will say about this place, this map in particular, it is brutal. I mean, every single river is poisoned when you first get here. Every single river is poisoned, so you got to cleanse it, and then it takes days to actually clear up. So they do clear up. I know I, I, I said that in a previous thing. If they don't clear up or not, but they do clear up. Um, there is um, get out of here. There is tribes everywhere, there is poison spiders that are not in caves, uh, there's snakes everywhere, um, yeah, the dry season doesn't help, there's lots of the tribesmen around, uh, it is very brutal, very brutal. Alright, so now I need to wait until the wet season before I can do one of them, uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but we got time anyway, I need to head up here, and... In here there is a cave with a uh, statue or, or like an altar and then I gotta go put um, turtle meat now I don't know if it's cooked or not if it can be cooked or not uh, also I used up all my food rations just trying to survive I used my pain pills just trying to survive so yeah I, I'm gonna see if I can use tortoise meat if not it's not that far from the ocean so I think there are tortoise here uh, as for the other thing, you need to make a drum, but in order to make a drum, you need a skin from a baby animal, which only spawns in the wet season, and then it spawns, I don't know, one of the lakes or something. I'll show you once I get there. But yeah, so I'm going to start heading up north, and, um... What the hell is that noise? Oh, it's the armadillo. Just enjoying my campfire. So... Yeah, so I'll head up there and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we're back. I found a cave, but this is not the cave. Uh, I'm just a little bit south of where I need to be, but I did find a tortoise at the other cave. So I don't know if it constantly spawns here. If not, we can always go down there, but this is where I'm currently at. And then that's where I need to go to the upper cave. But it turns out I do need raw tortoise meat, not cooked. So let's see if we can go ahead and harvest this. And what's good about this place is there's a water uh, spot just next to me. So I can wash my hands and stuff um, if I need to. So let's go ahead and put this down. And just here, it's, it's unsafe to drink, but I can at least wash myself. Alright, perfect. Now also, I think there is a sick dude in this one. I still want to get poisoned. Yeah, there was a scorpion and a spider in here. Um, was it this cave or is it the other cave? It might have been this one. Oh yeah, he died. Okay. Yeah, it was. He was. He was here, and he had food poisoning. Um, that's okay. I'll leave the water lilies here then. But yeah, he was basically laying there, but he died. Um, I only had one water lily on me, and he had, like, I think five food poisonings. So even, even those two wouldn't have cured him. But, you know, it is what it is. So we're going to head up to the other cave um, and drop off this meat before it expires. Uh, let's just go ahead and get rid of this leech. But I have a save point here, and I have a bed just to speed up time. Um... I don't know if I'm gonna just like power through time to get to it faster or I'm just gonna like naturally um, just play the game and stuff. Okay, wow, it's really difficult to see. 
But yeah, it's still the dry season at the moment. As soon as it gets to the wet season, I'll take a break and head over to the other spot to um, get the little uh, animal skin that we need. See, that's just wind. That's not rain. Right? Yeah, it's just wind. Okay. So, in here is where you need to go. Once again, you got to keep an eye out for um, scorpions and spiders and snakes. And You can tell this is the right place because there is a, um, a water patch down here. But there was a snake in this grass, like, right there. So you know what, I'll, can I clear up some of this? Just because I don't want to get bitten. Alright, there we go. And then I can wash here. Don't worry about the small leaf piles. They will turn into dry leaves later on. Just want to make it a little bit more safer for me to get to and from. Thing I, but yeah, the altar is basically over here. So I came here and it was like, yeah, you need raw meat. Let this be the first offering. I'll come back tomorrow. Oh, I hope I get to come back tomorrow. I'm not ready for this. Yeah, I'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know if that's a real thing or not. Um, that's kind of freaky. But yeah, uh, that's it. So yeah, I just got to go get more tortoise meat. Come back here, get more tortoise meat, come back here, and then we get to go from there. And if the wet season starts, then I'll just quickly come back, start recording, and go get the animal that we need for the drum so once again i'll see you guys in a tiny bit all right so it turns out jake has been talking to me and uh it, it's three days in a row it's not actually uh every three days it's three days in a row so we're gonna get the final turtle meat in there so i was i was really lucky that place where i set up my save uh, another tortoise spawned so um the following day uh, was nice and quick, but this last tortoise meat, I had to go all the way out to the ocean to get. Um, sort of glad that uh, the poison things haven't spawned yet, because the last thing I need is poison and a fever while trying to take on the final boss of the game. Uh... Oh boy. I don't know where he spawns though. This could be bad. Alright, wish me luck, guys. And this should do it. Tomorrow I'll face the beast. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> so I gotta wait an entire day. Uh I sorta of went through my entire resources. So we might have to have the other can. I even had the can to fight the beast just then to make sure I was fully prepared um uh, okay well that's some resources Are there any bananas or oh boy sort of yeah oh I could even sleep here the entire time but yeah the animal we're looking for is sort of like that but it has a very unique skin um and it's still not the wet season yet Oh, hello. Random coconuts. I'll take you. Because I can... Oh, there's another coconut there. Hang on. Let me put them up here so we have a bit of hydration for tomorrow. Uh, plus, we got time to kill anyway. So might as well do that, do that. We just need some carbs. The bananas would be great. I don't know where my spear went. I need that spear. 
There it is. Pretty cool. And the axe is doing great. You can see in the bottom right there, it's durability. That's amazing. Um, we might head back down to our camp just down here because there is animals and stuff we can kill and cook for protein. So I'll need some sticks. Look at that, two swings. Two swings. Excellent. So we need, I think it's eight sticks and six more sticks. Uh, I mean, I can. There we go. I think that's right. Um, any bananas? No. Hmm. Okay. Any animals to kill and eat and cook and. I mean, we still got the armadillo meat for 23 hours, so it's not too bad. But they're not... Oh, there's a lizard. Damn, that thing can run. How much can I sneak up on it? Oh, what a shot. I'm getting good at this spear hunting. Harvest. Got some meat. And it also didn't get dirty. Um, also, we can boil some water uh, as well. So we might go ahead and set up a campfire. Doesn't matter where. As long as we don't start a bushfire, it's all good. That's down to 38%. But, uh, we use the fire, but why not? Why not? Still got some dry leaves, and there's even dry leaves like right there. So I don't have to. Um, so yeah, you put that down there. We need some dirty water. And put that like that. You can also put the meat in there as well, and that will... Like, I'll show you guys. We can have some mushroom uh, soup once it's done. So you put a mushroom in there. Or you can put meat. Uh, but the only thing is you have to have it straight away. You can't store it. There's no store and go. And this gives us... Carbs and hydration. Not bad. Like I said, like as you can see there, I was fully prepared to take on the beast. But, you know, it's what it is. And there's my empty can. Yeah. Okay. And that's now Cook's... So let's go ahead and put that there as well. Get this all cooked up. Now we'll keep it dirty for now because... Mm -mm -mm. I'm just trying to think. Maybe I should put the tortoise shells on there. Yeah, I even had some of this. Alright, I, I got an idea. Let's put the tortoise shells on there. And then that way, we can get more hydration out at the same time. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's going to be clean water. That's going to be clean water. 96. And then we can drink that tomorrow, right? Deal. Yeah, we can drink that tomorrow. Do it again if the fire is still lit. Um, there is ways to keep it still lit. I just I don't. Can I throw charcoal on there? Does that work? It works in the furnace and stuff. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So now we just got to burn some hours. And yeah, I've got some armadillo shells there. Make some armor afterwards. But we've basically just got to burn hours now. So this may look weird, but... It's what I have to do. Okay. 
So how do I do just a bit of protein, carbs, and fats? That's still got 13 hours. That's got one day. Eat that. Just a bit of carbs. Okay. Um, we've got the fire still lit, so let's get this here. That's still clean, isn't it? 25 out of 25. Spill. Yeah, we just need some protein. How much protein does it give? 44. That's a lot of protein. That is a lot of protein, so... We might do that. Okay. Then... We'll save. Look at that, day 69. Awesome. Gotta keep that. Alright, we might head up there. Oh, bananas, but there's an ant farm. So it's gotta be careful. Okay, so we might head up there then because there's another bed just outside the cave. And you sleep more if um if you actually burn some energy. So we'll try and run. I can't see. Is this the right way? The, the only bad side about running is obviously you use more energy, but if a Jaguar attacks, because you're running, it instantly pounces you. It, like, instantly pounces you. So this must be the cave here, which means we have a bed here. All right. Where are these thingos? There we go. And we've got some hydration here as well. That's cool. How's our weapons? 91 and 73. Okay. Okay. And we're good. Just a bit of protein. Alright, let's speed this up. That's good. 420. That means we're going to win, boys. If it's 420, we're going to win. Oh, yeah. Let's go. 420 in the morning. All right, how are we doing? Bit of hydration. I uh, can probably break one of these up, right? Is there another hydration. Oh, yeah. Get the hydration. Harvest. Okay. Eat. Eat. Drop. Drop. Okay, probably need a little bit of carbs. Get that in there. Get our protein. How we doing? Oh, full health, boys. Full health. The only thing I didn't do was build a torch. Okay. Kill the mighty Harkar. Harkar, I think is how you say that name. All right, we're just going to wait for sunrise. Just so I can see the damn beast. So I'm just going to sleep again. Uh, seven's good. There we go. Here we go. We're going to take on Hakar. Hakar. Where are you, Hakar? Hey Alright. Got him. Right now, I'm more worried about being stung. Okay. Can I crouch? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, I'm a little bit scared in case you can't tell.
Was I meant to bring more meat? What did I do wrong? Is he late? There's no meat offering. Okay, I'm not sure, guys. According to the tutorial, the one I watched, he just shows up. Does he only show up at night? That's not it. Look for the bones of the victim in his ear. You'll find, you'll find them in the dark, but looking to the sky. To look death in life, either sacrifice three times after the sunset. From the claws of the real tree. The fourth day, the beast will appear. I don't think he got the memo. Hmm. Alright, let's go... Let's go kill some time again. Sorry, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be now, guys. Might be a long one. Just trying to get through this game. Alright, we'll sleep for like another hour or two, maybe? After nine? Maybe he does his killing after breakfast. Maybe that's just how it works. Yeah, okay. Alright, we'll try again. Got all excited and everything, and the dude doesn't even show up. So it. So it. Doesn't even show up to his own death. You here now? A car? A car? A car? Anyone home? Where is this dude, man? I'm pretty sure he'll spawn. I don't think he does anything cool. Like, it'd be really cool if he, like, came down here and then, like, jumped or something. That would be amazing. But I don't think... That... I'm pretty sure he just spawns. Alright. Alright, guys. I'm just going to head on out. Uh, I'm going to check the tutorial again. And just see if I'm doing something wrong. Like, maybe he only shows up at night. Or, or I don't know. But, yeah. I'll, I'll be back once I figure out what I need to do with this dude. Alright. So, we're back. Uh, it turns out he only shows up at night. Um, so I, I waited until dusk and then, yeah, apparently he's gonna, he's gonna shop tonight. So I've only got a little bit of time. I don't know where he's gonna shop. I've got a feeling he's gonna shop in his cave over there. Um, so yeah, I just got my food and drink up. Probably 6pm, my guess, is when this dude's gonna show up. But yeah, I just went back to it. It's like the fourth night is when he shows up. Um, oh, there's some dry leaf. Do I need that? No. Alright, also got some bandages, just in case. Alright, so yeah, we're just waiting. Um, still not dry, it's still not wet season yet, so I'm gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to play, uh, randomly until I get to the wet season. It'll probably be, what, day 80 is when I get the next wet season cycle. That's not gonna be fun. Uh, if I had sticks and stuff... I could actually build a spike trap. Now I'm dirty again. No. Alright, Haka. Where you at, boy? Let's dance. This is meant to be the dance of death, so we have to dance. Oh yeah, we have to dance. You gotta do the dance of death. Oh yeah. Dance of death. Oh yeah. Dance of death. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Where you at, Haka? Where you at, Haka? Where you at, Haka? Where you at, Haka? Quiet, you. Every little noise is like freaking me out, though. Uh, also, the dude's like a big giant puma. <laughs> 
So, after all this preparation, I may die and have to do it all over again. Not fun. Not fun. I wasn't sure what time he spawned, but yeah, it's starting to, the, starting to look like 8. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, here we go. Just about 20 seconds. 20 seconds. That better not be a snake. Nope. Oh boy. 20 seconds. Here we go. You guys want to see this? He's going to spawn. I'm going to throw my spear, right? I'm going to, throw my, I'm going to hit him in the head. He's going to die instantly. If he doesn't die, I'm in a lot of trouble because the only thing I have left is a bow and arrow. <laughs> so, I better not miss. I better not miss. Actually, that's that's a stupid idea. Let's use the bow and arrow. Because the bow and arrow still does a headshot. <laughs> That's a stupid idea. Throwing my only weapon. Where is this dude? Oh shit! There he is, boys. Okay, he shows up at 10 p.m. Oh. Close one, boys. What an epic fight. Whew. What an epic fight. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Debs, you make crocodiles not get one shot, but you make the great Hakar get one shot by an arrow. You told me that this trip would include killing mythical beasts. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. Um, yeah, that is what it is. I honestly thought it was going to be more epic, especially with all the build up, but... And like, watching the other dude fight the dude, maybe I should have just done it with the spear. Who knows? Big cat meat. Yummy. Alright, yeah, so I will, um... I don't even know at this point. I'll just quickly go back and save, and then I just got to wait until the wet season. Just to get the little animal that's going to help us craft the drum for the tribe base. So I'll be back in a little bit. Oh, yes! Oh, finally! Oh, man, I have been running back and forth between... Where am I? 40, 24. Between here and, like, over here, just trying to get water to survive. Oh, I don't even... I don't even care the fire's out. All I've been doing is boiling water this whole time. What the hell was that noise? Such a weird noise. Okay, so hopefully this thing has finally spawned. I think they said it had to be night time though. As well. And it spawns somewhere around here. So it looks like that but small and it has a very unique skin. So we might just sleep until night time then. Oh. You guys have no idea how boring that was. <laughs> I had to spend days trying just to survive on whatever I could. Wait, what's got nine minutes? Oh, nine hours left on the banana. I just eat it. I'm not that fussed about it. Alright, so let's just get to night time now. Actually, before we do that, let's just fill these up. There we go. Speed up to night time. Uh, it stopped raining again. Okay. Good. Alright, so apparently it's not only spawns at night time and when it's raining. There it is. That's the thing we need. That's the thing we need. See how it's got like a unique skin? No! 
Damn, it gets spooked so easily. It spooked so easily. Is it gone now? That's the big one. Yes! Alright, there we go. A baby tapir. That's what we're after. Alright. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, I am sorry, buddy. Alright. I don't know if I need the skull, but we definitely need the skin. I'll take the skull with us because I don't want to come all the way back here. Okay, I, for some reason I thought I saw like this bear or something come out there. I I think I'm hallucinating in real life. I've been playing this game too long. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, why am I going over here? Oh, to get my thing eyes. Okay. Excellent. So yeah, I'm gonna head back to um, uh, the tribal camp now, hand everything in, and then we can finally wrap up this episode. And hopefully, we have 800 rep by the end of all this. So I'll see you guys back at the camp. All right, so we're back at the village now. Uh, apparently, I had five stacks of insomnia. <laughs> I'm not sure how that worked, but we put a log in here. We put the skin on, and then we insert the. I hope you will like it too. We insert the rope, and then you can actually play this thing. So. But yeah, you actually control the, the big drum. Alright, that's pretty cool. I just wanted to cook some meat as well while I was here. Um, I say they rehydrated. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk to the tribe leader and get this all wrapped up. Alright, so we've got three things to talk to you about. I found this in the river. Don't know if uh, I should be insulted or not. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about the drum. Popo got me to talk a bloom. Wow. Wow, okay. Alright, here's proof about the Black Panther. Mashitaka Bloom Dai Penta. Wow, he doesn't believe me. Alright, so let's see. Alright, so let's see. Quiet, kid. So, he's given us what we need to, um, yeah, do the trip, uh, trippy thing. Uh, but we're going to save that for next episode, so I'm going to have to go ahead and build a, um, a fire, and then we'll do the drink, and then once we do the drink, then we'll be able to head on over to the rope, because we'll have the totem, depending where we wake up. We could wake up, like, down here or whatever. Um... And then we'll go finally give the kid to the token. He'll let down the rope, and then we can start making our way to the airport and get the hell out of here. Once we find the mushroom, of course. So as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a like, and I'll see you in the next one.